Hello guys and welcome to another Anki Addon Guide video. So far we have been focusing on the card creation aspect in Anki, but reviewing is equally important, if not even more important. And so for this video and for the next ones over the next few weeks, that's what we will be focusing on. Today we will be starting this series with one particular feature that you can add into Anki, and that is the ability to zoom into your card content. Now for this specific feature there are pretty much two add-ons that you can choose from. The first one, the zoom add-on, is the older add-on, probably one of the oldest add-ons for Anki in general. And the second one, the zooming add-on, is a recent addition um, who, which was created by Dimitri Mikhev, who is probably one of the uh, most prominent add-on authors out there for Anki. So I'd recommend using this second one, the zooming add-on, simply because, because it comes with a lot more features in it and because of course it's more recent and thus is kept updated across different Anki releases and will probably also be updated as soon as Anki 2.1 eventually comes out. So let's take a look at how these add-ons work because um, both of them pretty much work in the same way as far as the basic features are concerned. Now if you're familiar with the uh, zoom controls in a web browser you'll feel just as at home so in order to zoom in and zoom out of your content with these add-ons, the only thing you have to do is just use either the hotkeys, which are control plus plus and control plus minus, or use the other binding, which is to hold down the control key and then zoom in and out using your mouse wheel as you're probably used to. You can also adjust the zoom levels by going into the view menu up here and then selecting either of these options. You can also use this to uh, reset your zoom level to the defaults, but you can also do the same thing just by holding, by uh, using the control plus zero hotkey. Another neat feature I'd like to demonstrate about this add-on is that it can actually save your zoom states across different Anki screens. So if we're in the reviewer right here and just enlarge the text to a maximum level like this one, and then go back into the overview screen and uh, maybe make this a bit smaller, and then restart Anki, you'll see that both of these settings will be remembered individually. And that's a pretty awesome feature to have, especially if you're working on a larger screen and your font sizes are pretty small compared to the screen size. Another thing I'd like to demonstrate with this add-on is um, that it actually um, modifies the font settings by default. Uh, this is one thing I'm not that keen about. Um, it's of, of course, it's also awesome to have the ability to change the um, interface fonts, but as you might notice, the add-on actually changes these fonts across all of the uh, across the entirety of Anki. So even if in the browser you'll see that it's using a different font now as compared to some of my earlier videos. Um, I'd like to use the system font. So in order to change this, the only thing you pretty much have to do is to go into Tools, Add-ons find the zooming entry and in here uh, you'll find a lot of different configuration options among which you will see there is also a, a setting to customize both the font family and also the font size. By default this is set up to change the to change Anki's interface font to Calibri and uh, apply a different font size. If we want to disable this we either can delete this section or preferably just prepend it with a hash sign. Uh, this symbol will simply comment that line out, pretty much just disable it. And as soon as we save this add-on and then restart Anki, you'll see that it's now using another font, which is the font that my uh, system uses by default. Of course, having the ability to change the font size and the font family is awesome. So if you're into personali personalizing your app appearance, then uh, this is a great way to give your Anki sessions a custom flavor. Okay, that's as far as the general use of the add-on is concerned. Now, one aspect that really makes zooming with Anki a bit more complex that in, than in the browser is how images are handled. Now, this, first of all, is one thing that is great about the zooming add-on. By default, it allows you to zoom into images, which is not possible with the zoom level, uh, with the zoom add-on. However, as you will see in this demonstration here, you can only zoom in as far as the screen allows you to. So for instance, if we have this image right here and just zoom into, your, into our card, 
we'll see that it's constrained by the text and other elements that surround it. So we can't enlarge it any further. The only thing we can do is enlarge the text further than this level. So that's a disadvantage. So how do we address this? Well, if you look into the add-on description, you'll find that the add-on author has, a, has provided a pretty useful um, CSS trick, and that is this one right here. So this is a styling modification to your card templates that can change how Anki um, handles images. By default, Anki will try to resize the image so that it always fits into the window. And that is the reason why you can't zoom in any further than the window allows you to. Now, in order to change this, the only thing we have to do is copy this um, segment right here, go into our cards and then modify the styling for that particular card template. And as you'll see now, you can actually zoom in as far as you want. So there is no constraint to the image size. You can zoom in and see every single pixel if you really want to. However, this has a few disadvantages. First of all, Anki now no longer resizes the image to the window size. If you have a large image compared to the window size, then that might be an issue. And of course, the other issue is that this change will also apply to your phone if you're using Anki Droid or Anki Mobile, and this might be a disadvantage. To solve this second problem, at least, you can use the following code right here. Just have to type in dot mobile behind this one. Um, sorry, no, you have to type this one second. Okay, so pretty much if you type in dot mobile behind this, then you will make sure that this setting only applies to the uh, phone. That's not what we want, of course. What we want right here is to have one rule for the desktop and now a second one for our mobile phone. So we just copy that rule, that existing rule, then type dot mobile behind it. And here now, what we'll do is we'll set the max width to be 100% and max height uh, in the same way. And those pretty much are the default settings that Anki uses. So by having these two lines, we have now customized how images are presented on the um, desktop while still maintaining the way that Anki handles um, images on our smartphones or any other mobile client. Okay, so that's how you can zoom into images and modify how they are presented in your templates. All right, guys, I think that's as far as this video is concerned. Just a quick summary. There are two different add-ons, the zoom add-on and the zooming add-on. The zooming add-on is the one that I'd prefer. There are a lot of different uh, new features provided by it, and it's pretty easy to use. If you've used a browser before and its zooming functionality, it's pretty much the same thing just in Anki. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and uh, tune in later for other videos concerning how to modify the reviewer. Until then, good luck with your studies and see you soon. Bye.